Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today's project is to sew a fabric mask like this one. And in the back side there's an opening. You can insert your own filter and replace it every day or whenever you need it. And for this project I'm going to use sewing machine but you can also use hand sewing. It's very easy and straightforward. And if you have any pattern, you want to place it this direction because we are going to fold it this way. So this should be the direction of the pattern. And for the elastic cut two piece, I use the flat 1 8 inch elastic or you can use quarter inch wide flat elastic. You can also use the wrong elastic instead of the flat one, but it's harder to sew through. So you might want to tie a knot at the end. So you will probably need a longer one. And another optional item is a twisty tie. So you can shape it to fit around your nose better to reduce any opening. But this one is optional. And you probably have this at home. We usually collect a lot of that when we buy bread. They tie up the plastic package with this twisty tie. The next thing is about the filter insert. It's probably difficult to buy any specific mask insert. You can still find the filter for the air conditioner from Home Depot or filters for the vacuum machine. And they come in different strengths. See, this one is rated for number four. That's less powerful than, for example, the FPR number 10, the premium one. As the number goes down, it's less effective. It's still good for dust, dust mite, pollen, or pet dander. If you really want it to be effective, you have to select your filter carefully. For most healthy people, the lower number FPR rating is okay for everyday use. And some people suggest using non-woven fabric like the dried wet wipes. And you should do your own research if you have particular condition and you need extra protection. And talk to your doctor if you have more specific questions. So for the first step of sewing, I want to turn over the top and bottom a little bit. That will be the opening for the filter insert. So just a little bit maybe with the seam allowance of quarter inch or one centimeter. We'll sew a line here and a line here. So you can do a little back stitch at the beginning at the end. After you sew up the top and bottom, you can flip the top down a little bit, maybe half inch or one centimeter and pin it up and the other side match the top. That's the opening for the insert and you can overlap it if you want. And then we are going to start sewing the elastic. And the reason we want it to be close to the top is because if we have opening too close to the center, we are going to do the fold increase and it might get too thick and difficult to sew. So it's easier to have the opening close to the edge. And here is my elastic. We are going to place elastic inside. So you will look like that. And we will sew through the top and sew through the bottom. And just remember to back stitch a few times when we go over the elastic to make sure it's secure. 
and it's the same on the other side we'll do it this way place it inside because the inside is the uh, right side so after we turn it over you will be on the right side so that's the placement of the elastic so the next step is to sew through from the corner go over the elastic keep going go over the elastic and continue sewing and go through the elastic and then go back here through the elastic and you can continue sewing the top too because we already have opening here so we don't have to leave opening space you can sew through four sides and the placement of the wire or the twisty tight will be here so make sure this piece is big enough for inserting the twisty tie or the metal wire and we can sew the outside first and then we will sew a line here sew a line so you create a channel to insert your twisty tie and if you want you can sew up both sides two little straight line here and here so it's completely enclosed or you can leave it open so you can take it out when you need it After we saw the four sides, we can turn it over and you can see the top stitch here is very close to the edge because I want to leave some space here if you want to insert the wire for the nose area. So now we can open up, you can see the elastic band inside. We're just turning it right side out. You can see the shape of the mask already. I give it an iron so you can see it flattens and it's easier to sew. The next thing we are going to install the wire. This step is optional. I'm just going to place my twist T tie here. For this one, I'm just going to sew a straight line to the end here. Or you can just sew three sides around the twist T tie to enclose the wire. Now the twisty tie is inserted. You can see here, you can bend into any shape you like. And the last thing to do is to fold it up and you can find the center point here is the center and just pinch up make a little fold maybe half inch or quarter inch it really doesn't matter we have a fold in the center and then one fold below it and another fold on top of that so we all have totally three folds and we'll do the same on the other side or you can just make two folds one from the top one from the bottom like so so this is the double fold you can see from the edge it's the back side and we can just sew a line here and a line here or you can do the three fold we do the center one first and then top one going down i heard it's better if you fold it down and this is the top part so any germs or pollen doesn't trap inside if you do it the other way so we got our three folds and pin it up now I give it an iron you can see the three folds and it's easier to sew this way just one line or two line on each side
So that's the final product and you can open it up like that to cover your nose. You can see here is the top with the wire. This is the front side and that's the back side. And there's opening you can place your own insert. If you think the opening is too big, you can stitch it up to make it smaller. I'm going to stitch up here a little bit and uh, this side. So it's about one third opening in the middle. Depending on the size of your insert, you can decide how big you want the opening to be. Now I make the opening smaller, you can see so any insert will not fall out easily. Now we got a piece of filter on a non-woven fabric. We can just insert it. That's it, we're done.